Welcome to YouTube Excel Magic Trick number 18. Hey, if you want to follow along by in this workbook, click on my channel, then click on my college website, and you can download this workbook. No way. In this trick number 18, we're going to see how to randomly generate letters in Excel. But first, we have to figure out what in the world a row function and the character function is. Now, let's click in cell A1, and I'm going to say equals R-O-W open parentheses, close parentheses. Oh, this is a really cool function. I'm going to control enter. You can see it right there. It always tells you what row you're in. Now, no way. I'm going to point to my fill handle right there. And when I see my crosshair or angry rabbit, I'm going to click and go all the way down to row 250, 255. Now, I want to quickly jump back up to cell A1, control home. Notice that in each one of these cells, if I hit F2 there, row simply tells me what row I'm in. Huh. Now, why would you want to do that? Hey, let's click in B1, and I'm going to do the character function equals C-H-A-R, open parentheses. Now, this is a weird function. You type in a number, and it tells you what character Excel thinks that number is. No way. There's 255 characters that Excel knows about. So if we click on the number 1, control enter, it thinks it's that little character. Now, let's double click this fill handle and copy it down. Why is this important? This is how you can always remember when you're randomly generating letters. It, this is a cool way to realize that A, Excel thinks the number 65 is the letter A. And what is Z? 90. So this character, it's this character function looks at the number 90 and it pops out Z. So that's important sometimes when you're trying to generate random characters because A is 65 and Z is 90. Hey, let's go down here and see how this works. We want to randomly and I'm going to blow this up in cell G9 or F9 here. I want to use my character function equals character but wait a second, instead of just typing in 65 or 70 or 90, I want to randomly generate the number between 65 and 90. No way, we're going to use our rand between. This is a function that's in Excel 2007 by default. In earlier versions, you actually have to go to Tools, and then Add-ins, and then click on the Analysis Tool Pack, and that automatically will put the RAND Between function in. Now watch this. The RAND Between wants a bottom and a top. I'm going to type 65 for the bottom, comma, 90 for the top. That will randomly generate a number between 65 and 90, which the character function will interpret as A to Z. I'm going to close parentheses and Control Enter. Now I'm going to copy this over. And there we have it, E, T, S. If I hit my F9 key, which is the recalculate the workbook key, I'm going to hit F9, F9. It randomly generates letters. I can't hit F9 because it turns off my recorder, so I'm hitting F2, Control, Enter. No way, B, I, N. Now let's click in this cell, H9, and I want to come up to the formula bar and scoop, scoop with my uh, I beam cursor and highlight just that, not the equal sign, and control C. Enter. Now I want to come over to this cell right here so I can randomly generate three letters in a row. I'm going to type equals control V. That'll generate one letter, but now I want to use the join symbol, which is shift 7. That's the ampersand. And then I want to control V, shift 7, which is the ampersand, control V, and then Control Enter. No way, that'll randomly generate three letters in a row. So I'm going to hit my F9, which is my recalculate, or F2, Control Enter. Now I can copy this over. And in three cells, I'm randomly generating numbers. Hit my F9 key, and I randomly generate num letters. Wow, that's amazing. All right, see you next Excel trick.